Red house. Oh, ooh, banana laffy taffy. I was asking for these. I'm gonna eat this right now. Merry Christmas, thanks, mom. Hello, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Elizabeth, and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and join me in all of my adventures. This month, I am posting one video every single day for the month of December, so make sure you subscribe um, and turn on the, the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a video. Um, I post a lot of cooking videos, home stuff, and uh, other funny sort of things. I also have a series called Elizabeth Explores that I have on my channel that uh, I'll be um, showcasing on this channel some more as well. But for now, I thought I would show you a delicious, comforting recipe that you can make at home uh, for this holiday season as it's becoming a little more chilly. We're looking for more, you know, homey, comforting, delicious foods. And I think this is one of them. This is a little twist on a chicken pot pie uh, with puff pastries on the top. And uh, yeah, I thought I would show you how to make it. So if you're interested in learning how to make a delicious chicken pot pie at home, then please keep watching. I have all of my ingredients already chopped and ready to go um, for the chicken pot pie. And what you'll need is a container of this uh, chicken broth. I have the, do I have the low sodium? Low sodium is very important, so make sure you get a low sodium chicken broth. Um, you need a white dry wine, so I have a Pinot Grige by Barefoot. Um, you need a quarter cup of unsalted butter, so I got that here. Um, you'll need to dice up half of a yellow onion supply. Then you'll need some purple or blue and baby red potatoes. You'll need a chopped carrot. I have two chopped carrots here, some sprigs of some sprigs of thyme, uh, Italian parsley. You'll only need like a little bit of Italian parsley for garnish. Um, minced garlic. You'll need two teaspoons of minced garlic, but a little extra always is my specialty. And then two and a half cups of uh, chicken. You can get like a rotisserie chicken and shred it up and then use that if you want. You can bake chicken, you can do whatever you want, um, but make sure you have two and a half cups of the baked chicken. So let's get started. I have my baking dish already over here. I'll show it to you. You'll need one of these guys uh, to bake it in. Of course, the star of the show here, you'll need puff pastry. Um, this recipe calls for frozen. I just have the refrigerated kind. It was the only kind that my store had. Um, so puff pastry comes in like a little roll. We'll spread it out and cut out 
the circles put on top. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 375, so I'm gonna do that real quick. My oven tends to run a little bit hotter, so I'm gonna just set it to 350 and then check my thermometer. Oh yeah, and Brittany's here joining us for today. <laughs> Need a large Dutch oven um, pan or a heavy bottom skillet, which I have, and I'll show you in a sec. Um, and we'll need to heat it up over medium heat and then we'll add the butter and everything. So let's add the butter. Once the butter is melted, we're going to add in our diced onions and we're going to cook them until they're translucent about three to five minutes. And then once these are translucent, we're gonna add in our sprigs of thyme. We're gonna add in the garlic and flour. I forgot to mention flour earlier. Don't forget the flour. And we'll use our salt to taste, cracked pepper, and stir in until tasty. So about one to two minutes. Okay, next we're gonna add in the chicken broth, then the white wine. You're gonna stir that into the onion mixture. Bring, bring that mixture up to a simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Don't let it boil. And then the sauce will have thickened. And then from here, we're gonna add in our half and half. We're gonna stir it in. Then we're gonna mix the sauce with potatoes, the frozen peas, then carrots and our chicken. We're gonna cook for another five to 10 minutes, stirring frequently. Transfer all of this deliciousness to a greased casserole dish. Now bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. So here we have <laughs> this puff pastry. As you can see, it's already puffing its stuff. I don't know, I don't have a circular cookie cutter. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna cut these out. And see you in a minute. We have, our, we have our pastries here. I cut circles into them. Chicken pot pie. Right? Now we're gonna put the pastries. <laughs> we're gonna put the pastries on top, and then we're gonna cook them for another 15 minutes. I just cut into this beauty. First bite, or first slicey deliciousness in there. Chicken pot pie and all the little thingies all puffed up. Ooh, listen to that crunch. Crunch. Yeah, potato. All this, all that. That's a big bite. It's gonna be too hot. That's hot. 
It's good. I like this little guy on top. It's good. It's just like, you know, it's a chicken pot pie. It's good. Definitely recommend you try this recipe. It's really good. I'll link the recipe in my description below. This is delicious for the cold winter months and it's easy to do. You probably have all the ingredients in your cabinets and in your fridge, except for the puff pastry. You probably don't have that, but you can pick it up. Let me know if you make it in the comments below. I wanna hear about it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram for more stuff. Till next time, I'll see you next time, bye.